We are off to the movies now and Naomi Watts is starring in a heartwarming new film about an Aussie family struck by tragedy. Penguin Bloom tells the incredible true story of a Sydney mum who broke her back going on to form an unlikely bond with a young magpie which helped her and her family come to terms with her injuries. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabber Davis joins us now. Jay, Jabs, this is such a beautiful film. We've obviously seen a lot about it uh, in the past week. One of the only films to actually be in the cinemas. What did you think about it? Good morning, Eddie. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, everybody. And an important travel warning for all Australians. If Naomi Watts invites you to Thailand, say no deal. <laughs> Ten years ago, of course, she played a tourist facing a tsunami uh, who was there with her three sons. Now she's playing Sydney woman Sam Bloom, who heads to Thailand on a holiday with her husband Cam and their three sons. Um, she leans against the railing on a rooftop, falls, breaks her spine and struggles to cope with her paralysis. Into this scene comes Noah, her eldest son, who adopts a baby magpie chick that the family named Penguin, hence Penguin Bloom. I thought this was going to be pretty mushy, pretty soppy. I sobbed for two hours. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Let's take a look at the impact a small baby baby bird can have on an Aussie family in Penguin Bloom. Sitting alongside other Aussie classics wow. like Red Dog, Oddball, Storm Boy, this is a must-see Aussie family classic. Five stars. I've seen some two-star reviews for this. A little bit heartless from uh, some of my favourite other reviewers. But, yeah, five stars. I think Penguin Bloom is just brilliant. Something that's much, much more harrowing. We're just talking about this in the break, Eddie. High ground. Uh, 20 years in the making from Aussie director Stephen Maxwell Johnson uh, tells the story of Gutchuk, a young Aboriginal man and uh, who's played by a first-timer East Arnhem Land Ranger, Jacob Jr. Nyingulan. He's being um, tracked by Travis... Um, uh, uh, Travis, who's played by Simon Baker, a World War One sniper. Let's take a look at high ground. You see this crown on the badge? That represents the king. The king of the British Empire. The <laughs> Still manages to find some really humorous moments in a really harrowing ride through Australia's dark history. If you love Sweet Country and The Nightingale, High Ground is for you. Four stars for that film. And both of those films look like they were shot just with uh, natural light. Incredible mm. cinematography on both those films. Get along. Support Australian film. Penguin Bloom is out already and High Ground is out on Thursday. So stacks to see on the big screen. Yeah, yeah James. Two amazing Australian films and the scenery showcased in both beautiful. The Northern Beaches for Penguin Bloom and Arnhem Land and Kakadu for High Country. So two really great films. And yeah, as you say, support Aussie cinema. Get to the, get to the movies and see them. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. See Thanks, Jabs. Can't wait to see both.